industrial sized knitting machines rarely do custom one of a kind jobs. They tend to run these very massive numbers of, you know, 5,000 sweater minimum or whatever. But these machines can do much better. With a machine like this, that's not a hardware limitation at all, it's primarily a software limitation. PhD student Lea Alba, a researcher at the textiles lab at Carnegie Mellon University, says with a more sophisticated programming, knitting machines can produce some very complex items. This is of course just one very long tube that has been bent a bunch of times and that is specified in that program. Using elastic stuffing and built-in strings called tendons, it's even possible to knit elements for soft robots. This is a gripper. <laughs> it's the first thing any soft robotics project has to make. Or fancy textured garments. This is something that I ended up doing a lot of the, the programming for it by hand. Albo says that on a personal level she is interested in how to get people to think of digital machines in creative ways as opposed to seeing them as something not fun to work with. We say you give us um, a, a object, uh, same kind of file format as you would use for any other 3D printing process, and we will do our best to knit it. Alba says much of the 3D printing boom has been the result of wider access to editing software. Knitting machines are not difficult in the sense that they only do a very small number of things, but coordinating those things to happen at the right time, at the right speed, etc., um, is hard to think about. 3D knitting of perfectly fitting items could one day see extensive applications from garments to soft and robots to spacesuits. George Putich, VOA News, Pittsburgh.